Welcome to Retro Eric. Today we will talk about VGA to HDMI converters. We will especially concentrate on low resolutions and video recording. For a long time I've been searching for a cheap VGA to HDMI converter. Not because I don't have a VGA monitor, but because I want to record retro games in CGA, EGA and VGA. After trying a few converters, I found this. $36 was a bit high, but still within my budget. As you can see, it clearly says it supports 640 times 480 in 60 Hz, but does it support 320 times 200 that most games uses? And does it support 740 times 400 in 70 Hz, which is the default DOS prompt resolution? Let's find out. But before we go any further, let me show you two of the contenders that did not make it. First, I tried this one. It's small and it has input for VGA, sound and power via USB. And of course, HDMI output. It has one major setback. It does not work at all. According to eBay, it supports a lot of resolution and the spec was amazing, but mine was dead on arrival. The second one I tried was this. It cost about $50. It has built-in wires for USB power and sound. Um, the spec says it's supposed to uh, support 800 times 600 and above, but nothing below. So it's not usable for my retro computers and retro recording. Let's move on to the star of the show, the Sevel Manta. Of course it has HDMI output, VGA and audio input. It draws power from USB and you can choose between 720p or 1080p output. You also have a zoom button and an auto adjust button that makes it easier to get the correct image. I have now connected the converter to my Pentium 2 computer. Uh, I'm running it to the Hapog uh, PVR2 to record the screen and the output is showing on my LCD Samsung monitor. The first we see here now is the boot up. That was the BIOS menu. That was 640 times 480 in 60 Hertz. And then very briefly, it showed the boot up screen and probably this screen too is 720 times 400 in 70 Hertz. As you can see, it looks uh, okay. And finally, it uh, boots into Windows 98 second edition, where I'm using the resolution, uh, the HDMI resolution, 1920 times 1080p. As you can see here in the display setting, the box is recognized as a Sony HD for you uh, graphics uh, display. Uh, I did some uh, research on Google and I found out that the same electronics uh, is used in several Samsung monitors. Uh, as you can see here, it supports a lot of resolutions all the way down to 640 times 480. I think that's the lowest the window supports and all the way up here to 1920 times 1440. I've tried all these resolutions and most of them looks uh, quite good except for uh, 1024 times 768. Um, I'll show you just briefly. As you can see, the screen repeats itself here on the right. Um, some sort of um, uh, four times trees error, I don't know. Uh, but that was the only resolution that had this problem.
I have now booted into DOS. As mentioned before, uh, this DOS resolution is 740 times 400 in 70 hertz. Uh, it was impossible to get this resolution to work on the other converter I showed. Uh, but here it uh, looks okay. But I have to press the auto button on the converter itself to make it fit the screen perfectly. To do some testing, I've decided to use Quake uh, because Quake supports a lot of resolutions, so it makes it uh, fairly easy to try them all. Um, as you can see, it now runs in 320 times 200. Uh, I will just briefly go through them all. As you see, it switched resolution very quick but sometimes it uses longer time. But still, it looks fine. Still good. 360 times 350. You still, uh, you see it's now not perfectly aligned, but uh, by pressing the auto button, it will be okay. I will not do that now. and all the way up to 1024 times 768. Uh, if you remember, this mode uh, was a trouble uh, or problem in Windows, but here it looks uh, good. Okay, let's turn it uh, down to 640 times 480 and do some demo. On the screen I'm watching, I would say that this is a perfect uh, picture quality, the same as uh, I would see on a VGA connector. Uh, but because I'm recording this, uh, you will probably lose some of the quality. But of course, not everything is perfect in all games. Um, there are a few games um, I read about on Nerdly Pleasures, uh, an excellent uh, webpage. Uh, there was an article there about games uh, doing odd graphics. Uh, Lemmings is one of them. Um, they um, uses a special uh, resolution where they use 640 times 350 in 32 colors when you play the game. And you can see here what happens. I don't know exactly why this is happening, but if you run the game in compatibility mode, it looks uh, okay. Here we can see the game running in compatibility mode. We still have uh, an issue down here with the graphics, but uh, if you remember what's uh, where, you can still play it. Pretty 
Prehistoric 2 is another of the game that has strange resolutions. It actually uses the resolution 312 times 200. But uh, as you can see, uh, the converter uh, manages uh, that with no problem. So except for a few games with odd resolutions, I would say the converter does a very good job for $5. All the screens shown here is recorded with my Hapog PBR2 and you can decide for yourself if the quality is good enough. For me it is. I will use this converter at least until I find something better. Before we end this show, there's one last thing I want to show you. Uh, I was trying these converters on different computers. Uh, they're among uh, a laptop. This laptop has 800 times 600 as the default or built-in resolution for the, for the display. Uh, when I uh, connect the converter to the VGA output of the computer and sets the computer in mirror mode, so it mirrors the, both screens, um, the external port is always 800 times 600. So it doesn't matter which resolution I set here, the screen is still 800 times 600. That also makes the resolution changing very fast. Uh, so as a tip, uh, if you have a converter, uh, a VGA to HDMI converter that only supports 800 times 600 and above, you can connect it to a portable computer and put the screen in mirror mode then I would guess that uh, you will be able to record 320 times 200 and uh, other resolutions. That's all for today's show. Thank you for watching Retro Eric. If you liked the show, please press like or even better, subscribe to my channel.